guys, so it's Kiosh and I'm back with another video. So I am here for the first wash day video in a very, very, very long time. So I hope you guys are ready for today's video. Okay, you guys, so as you can tell from the title of today's video, I am doing my first wash day of 2022. So you guys know in January, I did get a relaxer towards the end of January. And today I am here to show you guys my first wash day after I get my relaxer because you guys know I use very specific products to help my hair reverse damage, keep moisture, and gain back its pH balance after damaging it from using chemicals from the relaxer. So if you guys are ready for today's video, make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, so we are washing our hair today. We are one week post relaxer. If you watched my videos or yeah, my vlogs from last year, like December, I cannot remember the last time I had relaxed my hair and I think it's been over a year. I don't remember relaxing my hair hardly any last year at all. If I did, it had to be like early January somewhere, but I'm not even sure. So we're just gonna say, I was one year post relaxer when I relaxed my hair on January the 22nd of 2022. And if I did go a whole year, I don't, I think cause I had braids in September, but after that I didn't have any braids. So I don't know. Maybe I was just really good at taking care of my hair last year. Who knows child. Anyway, relaxer finally done on January 22nd, 2020. Two. and today we're doing our first relax I mean first wash day after relaxer you guys know I have a whole routine on my first wash day after relaxer to prevent damage to my hair so we're just going to get into it so the first thing so let me just show you the products that I'm going to use sorry if I'm rambling I'm a little rusty you guys know um let me just show you the first product I can use so the first product I love to use is my homemade um, deep conditioner you guys know this is a years <laughs> in the making I've been making this for over 10 or 11 years and right now actually my sister makes it for me now I gave her my original formula and I think she's added some things since to to it since then and it's just easier to get her to make it for me so I just she makes it for me in like these big old bottles you know I used to make it like as I did my hair and so having it in here is a little bit more convenient um, so she just makes them in these nice little old suave bottles that she had and they last me for a while. I used to get two at a time and they last me a couple of months um, for that. So we're deep conditioning or pre-pooing is what I like to do. I love to condition my hair on dry hair because you know my hair loves to be conditioned on dry hair. It does not like anything else. So we give it what it wants. Uh, so I'll do that first. And then you guys know I love to use the Affigy products when I am... First washing my hair after a relaxer and it specifically is the shampoo for damaged hair. And I like to use the Affigy Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructurizer because it adds strength, softens in one step, quick and effective against heat and chemical damage. So you guys know I've recently chemically damaged my hair because I got a relaxer. And so it just helps to help all of that just bounce back from, you know, me chemically treating my hair. And then it helps against heat damage, which you guys know that I usually blow dry my hair and flat iron it. So that'll help with that. So that's why it is serious care and protection. So these are my two staple products that I use after I relax my hair every single week. And then you guys know my other two favorite things that I like to use are my leave-ins. Leave-ins are everything. If you don't have leave-ins, what are you doing with your life? Um, so my first one I love to use is the Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner. Um, all of these products are from Affigy. It smooths, detangles, improves body and shine, and protects against heat. Once again, I leave these in. I'm going to blow dry my hair. I'm going to flat iron my hair. So it's already built into my hair, the heat damage protection. And so if you notice, my conditioner has a heat damage protection. My leave-in has a heat damage protection. So that's why you guys normally don't see me use like a separate heat damage um, product. And then the cream... The keratin green tea reconstructurizer um strengthens instantly builds body protects color and chemical services so i don't have any color but once again chemically alter my hair with a relaxer so i love to use these two together they're amazing i'm almost out so i'm gonna have to hurry up on them and then of course my long time favorite serum is my cheese silk infusion i love this product 
always always will be a staple along with the Afogee products and then you'll need of course a cap for your conditioner so I just get these at the beauty supply store you get like a hundred for like three dollars so it's just on a little plastic cap if you don't have one baby get a Walmart bag y'all know I'm in a Walmart CVS Dollar Tree, any Dollar General, any type of bag I can have, I'm going to get a bag, okay, if I don't have any. And then, of course, you'll need a towel. And then you'll need, like, a wide tooth comb, a paddle brush, possibly a dimming brush, just whatever you prefer. And then, of course, you'll need a blow dryer and a flat iron if you're going to do that. And I'll show that to you guys a little bit later. But let's just get into the process of putting on my deep conditioner. And I like to have a towel for my deep conditioner because usually my sister makes it kind of soupy. I like when I make mine, I used to make mine thick so it didn't run. I don't know. It seems like she might have made it a little bit thicker this time, but we shall see. And you guys know I am heavy handed on my conditioner. I do not believe in being stingy <laughs> with your conditioner. Don't do it, sis. Your hair needs all of that little conditioning goodness. All right, you guys, we're all done. So now we're going to put our little plastic cap on. And this is where you can make a decision on how, if you pre-poo. If you don't pre-poo, of course, you would skip this step and go straight to uh, shampoo in your hair. But if you pre-poo like I do, then you can either put on a skull cap or something or just walk around your hair with the processing cap on or you can get under the dryer. You guys, I know I don't like dryers. I just don't like the heat all on me all the time. So I'd rather walk around, you know, with this processing cap on for a couple hours, clean the house, do some chores, whatever the case may be. And then I will come and wash it out. And you know, sometimes I leave it on for a whole day and don't wash it out to the next day. It just depends on what you like to do. I don't know if necessarily wearing it all day is something that's better than wearing it for 15 minutes with heat or 15 minutes without heat. That's just my process, you guys. You know, do what you like to do. But I'm going to walk around and work for a couple of hours. And then I will be back and tell you guys how long I wore my hair in this deep conditioning cap. And I probably put my skull cap on it to kind of keep the heat in and let it penetrate a little bit longer. But we're definitely not going to do an all-day thing because I have to go into the office tomorrow. So we can't, you know, go be deep conditioning all night long to tomorrow because I have to go to work. So let's get to deep conditioning and I'll be back when it's time to wash my hair. All right, guys, we are back and we have washed out our deep conditioner and we have shampooed our hair with our Afogee shampoo for damaged hair. We did two washes with it and this is the texture of my hair. Um, as you guys know, I do text lax. I do not relax with my hair bone straight, so it still has a lot of texture in it. That's how I like it because I like the texture the fullness of my hair when it's text last versus when it is bone straight um and so yeah so next we're gonna put in our carrington two minute reconstructurizer if we can get it to focus there we go um in our hair um it suggests that you leave it on for five minutes but you know i'm the extra girl we we'll probably do like 10 to 15 minutes and I'll make sure I set my timer because we don't have all day because we do have to go to work tomorrow. So I do need to, you know, get my hair done tonight. So we're going to do that right quick. All right, you guys, let's put in our second conditioner. Now, do you have to use a second conditioner? Do you have to pre-poo your hair? No, I just like the way it makes my hair feel. I feel like my hair retains more moisture when I pre-poo. Some people don't believe in pre-poo to each his own. Of course, I always start with the ends of my hair. Make sure they get that good moisture first. And of course, we do the praying hands method. And usually I would section off my hair, you know, into four sections for my wash day. But when I'm freshly relaxed, it's not necessarily because not as many tangles <laughs> as it would be if I was several months post relaxer. And I'm very heavy handed with the conditioner, so I like to make sure my hair is good and moisturized because that's what keeps it healthy and shiny. And that makes me not have to moisturize my hair on a daily basis. You guys know I do not moisturize my hair every day. It is not necessary. I keep my hair hydrated with the products I use. I have found using products keeps my more hair more hydrated than having to moisturize it every single day. Oh, every 
ever since I got this new earring right here, my hair be getting cut. <laughs> I'm going to be trying to get it out of there. There we go. Alrighty. Make sure we get this nape area. Get that nape. Get them edges. Boop, boop. We're going to put our little uh, conditioning hat back on. And if I really feel some type of way and don't want to use the conditioner that was on this side, I just turn it inside out. With it and then put it on the other side that didn't have the conditioner. So, you know, just a little trick to use, get two conditions out of one cap in the same day. I wouldn't do it if it was a different day. That wouldn't make any sense, but just a little trick of mine. All right, I will be back when we wash out. All right, guys, we're back and I did my 15 minutes. You'll be proud of me. I did not go over the 15 minutes. So I have rinsed out my conditioner and I rinsed it out with cool water. If you don't know, when you rinse out your conditioner with cool water, every bit of moisture that you have soaked up into your strands, the cuticles will close and trap that moisture in there, keeping your hair hydrated for a very long time. I actually tested this out because I didn't think it was true, but it moisturized your hair for an extremely long time. I hardly ever moisturize my hair. I wash my hair once a week and I hardly ever have to moisturize it like a moisturizer. I probably put like a serum on it or something like that, but not moisture. It never feels dry and it's also a lot shinier too. So if you haven't tried rinsing out your conditioner with cool water give it a try see how it works out for you like so we're going to take our towel down and i'm kind of holding my head to the side here because you guys know i t-shirt dry i know this seems seems like a lot for a wash day but i promise you it's not as long as it would seem the the longest part of my wash day is the deep condition <laughs> so yeah um so i'm going to take just any old cotton t-shirt that you got and i like to t-shirt dry my hair for about 20 minutes and the reason why I do that is uh, number one oh I just scratched myself in the face lower number one I don't like to um, detangle my hair when my hair is soaking wet it never works out for me I end up you know ripping my hair out and just having too much trouble trying to detangle it because it is text lax which means it's like a bunch of different textures so I like to t-shirt dry first and it will kind of like get the excess amount of water and it'll be more damp than soaking wet which is the easy which is the better way to actually detangle your hair anyway um and then after that we will t-shirt dry like I said for about 15-20 minutes I'll set another timer clean up my room do something child and then we will move on to putting in our leave-ins and our serum and then we will blow dry all right, you guys, it's been about 20 minutes. This is what my hair looks like. So it's still damp, but it's not dry. Oh, it's so soft to you guys. It's so soft. But anyway, we're going to just finger part. You know, I'll never do use a comb if I don't have to. My hair feels so good and moisturized, you guys. I'm going to take it in the four sections here this section here and take this in six section oh that ain't even nowhere near a section child there we go that's better <laughs> right we're taking it in four sections so I just got my little clips here and I always start in the back. And we're just going to put in our leave-in. So the first leave-in is the Afrogy Pro-V Leave-In Conditioner. And I just get this at my local beauty supply store. Sit back so you guys can see. I'm just going to you know, saturate the hair. I like to rub it through a little bit first. And then we're going to use the Afro G Keratin and Green Tea Reconstructurizer. I don't know, is it leaking? Leaking. Put that through our hair. Okay, rub it through. We're praying hands. And then we're going to take a little bit of our Chi Silk Infusion. 
and I usually just use like a small, like a really, really small amount. Like you do not need a lot. Like one bottle has lasted me for years, <laughs> like years. I'm just feeling to see if I feel any like weird not to anything. I thought I felt one. And then we're just going to take our wide tooth comb and start at the ends of course. And we are going to comb it out. Just get all the kinks and things out of there. Okay. So you see that was super simple, but also I am just a couple of days, like a week post or whatever. Ooh, my nape is looking real rusty right here, y'all. Okay, so that's that. That's all the shedding I got. It's just, you can't even see it and it's not even that much. Before I relaxed my hair, I was shedding a lot, which means that I stretched for too long. So watch that as well. Okay, so next we're going to use our John Frieda blow dryer. Target from years ago. I do have a Dyson, but you know, that's my go-to. The Dyson's cool too. It's just which one, whichever one I pick up. And then, you know, we we'll use the paddle brush method. So just like to clean it out with all stray hairs before I do it. Okay, and I'm just going to, when I get a fresh relaxer, I don't necessarily uh, blow dry my hair on high. I usually only blow dry my hair on high when I'm so many months post and I'm just trying to get it super straight. So today we're just going to put it on warm and we're going to put it on high air but warm heat. And since my t-shirt dry, it doesn't take that many passes. Or that long to actually get my hair like how I like it. I don't always flat iron my hair when I um, wash it. I'm very much a low heat usage person. So most of the time I just blow dry it and that's it. Sometimes I blow dry it and flat iron it. But most of the time I just blow dry it and I just wear it like this. Like just in its natural blow dry state. So I'm just going to blow dry the rest of my hair and I'll be back. Alright guys so I'm finished blow drying my hair. As you can see this is what my hair looks like. It's all nice and blow dried. It has a lot of shine to it. Looks really really good. Loving it. Loving it. I love the first wash day after a relaxer because it's just the best wash day. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap our hair while it's blow dry. You know, sometimes I will put it into twists. I'll put it in a bun or whatever the case may be. But I think we're going to wrap it so it just stays nice and straight like this tomorrow. Then I'll put my little side part. You guys know how I do. I'm a side part girl. I got to do it. Um. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get to wrapping our hair. Now, when I flat iron my hair, it's super hard to wrap that first time but since my hair is blow dried it should not be that hard I'm just gonna take a little bit more cheap silk, silk infusion about a dime size amount and just kind of run it through my hair to make it a little bit more less I mean it's still silky, silky and really really soft but it'll help it wrap correctly hopefully you guys hopefully so And don't worry about I smushed it down because you're just going to take your hair and you're going to twist the do-rag in the direction that you wrap your hair to get it to wrap itself back around. And the reason why I like to use this is because it's super tight and it kind of like, I like to pull it 
and wrap it just to make sure it's super tight around my head. The back of my hair never stays in a wrap. I don't know why. And then to make it extra flat, I take a do-rag and I put this on top of it. Just like that. And tie again. Now don't tie this too tight or you'll have a headache in the morning. <laughs> so don't do that. Alright, and get my bonnet to pull my ears out. And we're going to go to bed. And I will show you guys what my hair looks like in my Alright you guys, so it is the next morning. I am all dressed to head out. So let's see how our little wrap going so this is what it looks like when it wrapped so it actually stayed it's good 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 sorry if y'all see me looking over i got my my, my mirror right here let's see put over here man. My dad. we gotta see what we're doing so we're just gonna basically comb it out now once again my hair is blow dried <laughs> and i'm also text lax okay so it's not gonna be bone straight unless i flat iron it which we're not going to be doing. Alright you guys, so that is what my hair is looking like. I'm going to turn to the side so you guys can kind of get a kind of profile view of what it's looking like. So that is just a regular wash day for me. You know, deep condition, wash condition leave-ins and blow dry i normally don't flat iron my hair on a regular basis i will use like a medium to low heat when i blow dry my hair i hardly ever use high heat so yeah that is my wash day if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me and i'll see you guys in the next video bye